now in this worksheet called rank we have got employee names and salaries in column b and we would like to rank the salaries without having to sort the data so there is a function called rank there are some variations on it left parenthesis and we are comparing the entry in b2 comma with the entire column b entries so if we do nothing special after this we will rank these in descending order so the first entry here is the 79th highest reading from the top highest number as i copy this formula down the column we see that this entry is the 12th highest this is the second highest and so on but seventh highest 69th highest and we can see that up and down the list of about 100 names here if two of these are the same and here we do have two of these the same they are sharing the 12th position so in this list you will not find a rank of 13 these share that position when we create that entry we also have the option following the reference to column b putting in a comma and shifting the order in reverse putting in one for ascending like that and earlier i put in nothing there zero descending as the default if we put a one in here and just have it in if we wish now the order will be reversed that's the 22nd from the bottom this one which had been the second highest is at now the 99th looking from the bottom up so we can reverse the order by putting in a one zero or putting in nothing here simply ranks these from top to bottom descending order now i have got another list over in columns e f g h this is a list of the days in february when the business was open every day but sundays items sold we like to rank these so we will do the same thing here as we did earlier now how does this compare with all the other entries in that column again clicking column g and by doing nothing special we will rank these from highest to lowest that's the fourth highest entry double click and we might have some other fours in there it looks like we do down here on the 23rd of february so nothing unusual or different here compared with what we saw over in column c let's now use rank average dot and you can see it right here in the list you could tape it in or type it and like before we will refer to g2 comma in column g we won't change the order we get the answer five and that is strangely different than this let's copy this down the column and see what is going on and we see some decimals from time to time also now as we look at rank here this might be easier to understand if we simply sort the list in descending order here based by item sort and on the data tab we will simply use z a so what do we have here on a certain day we sold 27 items and on another day also those shared number two ranking and there is number three rank another way to describe this could be if this is two and this is three or vice versa in other words they share the second and third position then their average is two and a half that's why we see the two and a half over here and there were 25 items sold on three different days and so we see how they rank four why is this a four we have got three entries here sharing the fourth position another way to describe that is they share the fourth fifth and sixth position what's the average of four five and six five now i don't know of any official way to use this but uh, it does point out the idea that when we have rankings here and we are looking at numbers where we have got similar occurrences there are different ways to tabulate these and if we add these up we get a different total than we see in the other entry that's 198 see there at the bottom of the screen this adds up to 210 there is a different way of calculating the number rank average i think you are less likely to use this than we saw with rank 
Remember, in both versions, we have the ability to reverse the order here by putting in the third argument of a comma one. So rank and it is companion rank dot average are available here. Notice something else here. When you type equal rank, you can simply use the rank function as an E, Q or rank. These are equivalent to one another. And Excel is doing this with some other functions as well. In the long run, they will probably replace rank and then rank EQ simply does the same thing as rank. So don't get confused and think they and think there are three different variations on rank. There are actually only two because these two are the same.